Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. Oh, my. Oh, Yay! and there she is. We <laughs> it's going to be a wonderful hers. Wednesday as the Spurs go for game 10 in a row tonight. Victory number 10 in a row, I should say. Military and night. I love the camo there, Sophia. Number one Spurs fan. Number Thank one you. SA Live fan, too. Indeed. I'm a little excited. Sorry. I know. We're both from there. So, yeah, it's going to be a fantastic night tonight. Great game tonight. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, we were talking about Dwayne Wade's last night. But, unfortunately, he's going to yeah. leave here with the loss, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Dwayne. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, okay. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. Our Jen, Jen Tobias Jeske filling in for Fiona. And we're talking spring. Because how many hours, Mike, now? Uh, we've got just under four hours. 4.58 is when spring officially okay. begins. 4.58. So, what do you think of when you think of spring? Blue bonnets, the river, some barbecue. Um. Well, we were showing all the ladies in the very pretty dresses, yeah. you know, nice spring dresses. But I My also like spring fashion. I also like, you know, just nice spring flowers too. We've been showing yes. so many blue bonnets, but you know, all the the nice little colors yeah. and everything like that. I saw a picture the other day, and somebody had just a bunch of nice daisies. Oh, and just it's it's just so makes me happy, right? Yeah, I, just love I was getting my flowers. car washed and they planted fresh flowers. I was like, I want to take them and put them in my <laughs> yard because. Mine didn't look like that, so. <laughs> yes, but getting out there, doing your gardening, we want to see your photos, share. What do you love about spring? Is it fashion? Is it barbecue? Barbecue's good, too, right? Yeah. And what about some cocktails? Ooh, yeah, that's even <laughs> better. Send those pictures in. Hey, we're talking uh, Artisan on Alamo. It is located on uh, 8th and Broadway. It's the only distillery in the world that makes vodka from prickly pear cactus. Prickly pear cactus, that's awesome. The only in the world? The only one in the world. Really, Nick? In addition to that, we make a corn-based vodka and a whiskey and a moonshine also. Got it. But we serve all those at the distillery. Okay. Nick Spink, welcome. Yeah, you, you are the master distiller, and these drinks look beautiful. Tell us about what we're making today. What we're making today is a hot passion uh, martini. Uh, we're making a blackberry mojito, and then I'm going to finish up with a blood orange old fashioned. Ooh, Ooh. so hey, we have a fruit theme going. We have a fruit theme with spring. So, what, yeah, is, is that kind of the... Thing you want to aim toward uh, fresh fruits and things like that for spring. I only use well, I only use fresh fruits right. at my distillery, but even spring and everything, keep it lively, keep it light. It's real easy to make these cocktails. Even though you had used uh, bourbon for that uh, that drink earlier, you put the, the fresh fruit strong. in it. Too. It was. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I get to start now. What am I doing here? We're going to uh, muddle up some uh, jalapenos. Those are fresh jalapenos there. Okay. And you can make this as hot as you want it. Uh, you're just trying to bruise it up and get the oils out. All and right. go ahead and put uh, that is uh, passion fruit puree, and put about a tablespoon or so in there. Um, I find it's easier to work with a puree. Okay. Um, and then do uh, on that. That's a lemon infusion. Go ahead and do a, about a five or six count. One, two, three. It smells four, so good. Five. It's that so is very fresh. Good. Six. Mm. And then do a four count on the vodka, and that's about two ounces is what we're putting in there. One, two, three. How many did you say? Four. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> that's enough. You can keep on going. No, it's so, one o'clock. There you go. <laughs> the There's sun's another passing the yard arm somewhere, as my dad used to say. Some so. so I have ice already in there. So go ahead and shake it up in the shaker <laughs> okay. there. And what you're just trying to do is to chill it up and stuff, and you're not really doing anything other than that. Okay. So take the cap off, and here's a strainer if you want to use a strainer, and put it in your martini glass. Ooh, beautiful. Like I said, oh. the trick on this is using everything fresh. Okay. And Texas Pride Vodka is a corn-based vodka, so it disappears in that. Um, it's really, really good, really refreshing. So, oh, whoops. Chill. And you do tours? You pour it the other list. way. Yeah, I do tours every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> okay, you're laughing when I'm holding my glasses. <laughs> every okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock. And all the um, viewers and stuff, if they contact me, uh, my email's on, on the TV. Um, come on in and... It's, come in for a tour. That has a great flavor. And then you just a little hint of the, uh, the jalapeno in there. That's yep. really tasty. The next one here is a blackberry mojito. So okay. we have ice in there. So you're going to muddle this up. Muddling is just bruising it up and squishing it all up so all the oils and everything come out. Okay. What's the key to muddling the best way is just to... Just Squish like it up. And you don't necessarily Take have to have any... frustrations on those blackberries. Exactly. Um, you don't have that special tools or anything like that. You can use a rolling pin. You can use a spoon and everything like that. And ah, even with something dirty. like mint, you, you could, if you didn't have a, a muddler, you could just kind of rip Oh, yeah. Kind of Take this. This is a, a, uh, a lime. So I'll squeeze that in there. Squeeze it real hard. Oh, there muscles. we go. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> Come on. Taking out my frustrations <laughs> today. So for this, we're actually going to use a simple syrup, but I have a light simple syrup. Okay. So we're going to do a six count on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then... I want to let you do a four count of vodka. And you're located right there uh, off of Alamo Street at 8th, and yep. you do have tours, right? We do have tours. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock. We talk about, um, go ahead and pour that in there and shake it up. We talk about uh, how we make our vodka, how we make our bourbon, and then we do samplings of the spirits also. So, shake. Okay. And pour that in there. 
You're just you, trying to you show gave, it up. You gave me a little tip earlier because I told you I'm not the best shaker. Why don't you share that oh, tip? Oh, uh, okay. on the tip and stuff, fill your smallest glass with the ice and then put it in there because a lot of people fill up the biggest glass with ice. And then they overpour the, or they overgeat the ice, and you spill it everywhere. That's ah. what I've done yep. several times. Okay, so, now I know. And then you'd fill, finish this up with filling it up with ice, also. Oh, I thought you were gonna say vodka. No, 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 okay. you can do that too. <laughs> the okay. last one here is uh, my um, a little my on top there. a little nice turn on an old fashioned. Um, mm. So I have a um, blood orange old fashioned, and they're in season right now. They're wonderful to use. So the base of an old fashioned is actually orange. So rather than using regular orange, I'm using a blood orange. What's the difference? Would you say in the flavor? There's a, it's a, I think the blood orange is a little sweeter. Okay. Now, some people use a sugar cube, so I use a little bit of sugar in there um, just to sweeten it up a little bit. The two ounces, how many did you say, Mike? What, four, five? Uh, something ah. like that. Uh, right, there you go. Um, on the old-fashioned, some um, different bitters on there. And then I have ice in here. Shake, shake, shake. Mm -hmm. What are some of the customer favorites? Uh, this is one of the customer favorites, um, and uh, we do a, uh, the black rain mojitos, really cool. But we do a lot of different lemon drops. Um, mm. The uh, strawberry lemon drops, really, really good. Um, blackberry lemon drop. Um, but also we do some lemonades and everything. We change up our menu every five or six weeks. Everything is fresh. It all depends on what's part oh, of the season. Oh, so every five or six weeks. I mm. love that. And if somebody wanted to buy all of your spirits just at your place, or can you buy it around? You can buy both at my place. Uh, but the vodkas, the Spike Vodka and the Texas Pride Vodka is available at Total Wine and More. Okay. Mm. Perfect. All right. Well, if you'd Thank like you. more information Cheers. about... Nick Spink and Artisan on Alamo and all of his great recipes and everything like that, just head on over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So we've been talking about it. Tonight is going to be a fantastic night. The Spurs yes. are riding a nine-game win streak, going for game number 10 tonight, and it's a really special night. Yes, they're honoring military. It's Military Appreciation Night, and I caught up with a couple. They've been season ticket holders for 30 years. They are sweet. They've been married for 63 years. Oh, my goodness. 63 God. years. Wow. Here's their story. Tonight, the AT&T Center will be packed with retired and active duty military members as the San Antonio Spurs team up with USAA to honor them. Two season ticket holders, Bob and Carol, have been married for 63 years and he served over 30 years in the Navy. Here's more on their story. We had tickets at the arena. Okay. We saw them raise the roof uh -huh. and uh, we at the Alamo Dome mm -hmm. and we've been here ever since. Through it all, Bob and Carol Wooster have been cheering on their San Antonio Spurs. <laughs> the playoffs when we have won, of course, are the number one thing with us. We have loved watching the guys grow and become such wonderful young men. When they won their first, first championship in New York City in 99, that was, that was the real, real McCoy because they hadn't been close before, but couldn't do it. Sean and his on the tippy toes. Yes, of course. <laughs> I often wonder, does he still have those shoes? <laughs> <laughs> this 90 year old fan retired from the Navy after nearly 30 years of service. The Navy took good care of us. We we're, loved it. We're both very blessed because we have our health and we have our memories. Yes. And yeah. uh, it's been a wonderful life. And one thing that has taken over his retirement years, the Spurs, of course. Who are your favorite players? Oh, I would have to say Manu, Manu for sure. Manu, I have his And Duncan, shirt. Duncan, and, Duncan. And, and David, and Sean. <laughs> and Sean. You just go on and on. Go on and on. How can you be a favorite? It's yeah. tough because they're all wonderful people. Being a military family, the Woosters are proud that Coach Popovich, Air Force Academy graduate, always shows appreciation for the military. Oh, great to be able to be here yeah. to support the Spurs and the, and the fans, mm -hmm. the military. And I had to ask what their secret is to 63 years of marriage. Oh. Friends first. Friends yes, first. first. Spurs fans second. second. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and what better kind of friend than two dedicated fans who love their Spurs. So how long will you have your season tickets, you think? Until <laughs> we can't come anymore. <laughs> as long as we can walk up and down these stairs, I'll we're coming. Oh my god. <laughs> They Aren't are, they so they, sweet? They look fantastic. I know. I know. He said his neighbor that has 
season tickets as well turned what I think 60 and then they had a sign where together were 150 uh, they shared <laughs> their birthdays right. at a game and so they were just the sweetest couple super excited and tonight don't forget you can still get tickets 40% off for active and retired military so yeah, great wonderful. that they do that 30 years yeah. in the Navy and thank you very much for your yes, service thank sir. you and go Spurs go <laughs> indeed <laughs> <laughs> all right still ahead on the show it's a wild Wednesday, and these furry friends with some goats. Oh, my gosh, look how cute. Fiona's <laughs> taking us there. Plus, spring into spring with bright and fun colors. Hello, Tallulah is here to help you find the right vintage look for the season. So stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live, looking to spruce up your wardrobe with a fun vintage twist. Hello Tallulah is a local boutique located in the Deco District, specializing in affordable, easy dresses that you can throw on and go. She also creates some jewelry, but your dresses are one of a kind, you would say. She's here today, owner Christina Yuriegas Reyes, to share more. Now, tell me about vintage. What makes it so versatile? Hi, I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> and vintage is honestly, it's one of a kind. It never goes out of style. It's never boring. And so you can really dress it up or down. It's very versatile. I love what you're Thank wearing. You. So this I love is a good, good hat. Good example of just kind of putting it all together and just looking fabulous, by Thank the way. You. So you have some beautiful models today. Let's start with our first one. This first model I love because it's totally florals. And I know you're thinking florals groundbreaking, but <laughs> florals are never boring. I mean, look at this hat. It's amazing. Super cute. And, you know, you could throw a leather jacket on it. You could dress it down a little bit, but it's very ladylike, very 1950s, and it's perfect for spring. Super cute. I could see this maybe out at a brunch, you know, a nice mm -hmm. little fancy tea party. Brunch. Yes, tea party, for sure. And you also have a, a big selection of hats at your place, yes. right? Yes, love hats. Super cute. And what, uh, what about our second model? Does it, do they have a little connection, right? Yes, our second model is also sporting a very 1950s ladylike look. Beautiful. Very cute. We got our little basket. She's going to a picnic. So 
<laughs> and like I said, you can also dress this up or down. You throw like a motorcycle jacket, some Converse, Ooh. and you've got a whole new style. I love that. And I love how you had that yellow headband to kind of give it. pop of color. Yes, the pop of color. I love that. And you guys won an award, right? Tell me recently yes. about this award that you won. We recently won an editor's choice for San Antonio Magazine's Best of Issue. They named us Best Place to Get a Party Dress No One Else. No well, One Else. Well, that's, that's important, definitely right? True. <laughs> definitely true. And I love this peach color we have with our next model. Let's talk about this outfit. So this is a little more boho. We've got a beachy style going on. You can dress it up with some pearls and a cute bag, but you can just go straight from beach to the dinner. And uh, it's definitely a 70s style. You got a hat, you got a coral color. And Beautiful. So if someone goes to your place looking for something for the beach, something for a gala, like you can help them got it covered. narrow it down because yes. you do all the hard work, right? Yes. And I love to style people. That's probably my favorite thing. Like you come into the store, I'm good at picking people's size, people's style. You just give me a few clues and we got you trying stuff on. I have to say, when I went there, I said, I don't know. And you said it doesn't, the size doesn't matter because there's so many different errors, right? right. And so it just doesn't matter. So that's yeah. what you're good at. So you got to try great. stuff on. And uh, I like to push people out of their comfort zone a little bit. You got to experiment and have some fun. You definitely pushed me and <laughs> I appreciated it. So this is beautiful. I love all the colors over here, including your hair. You look gorgeous. So let's talk about this look. So this is such an artsy style. It's still in the 70s boho, but I thought it's still beachy, but it's more uh, upscale, but you can Dress it down with a little bag and a hat, and uh, don't be afraid of bright colors. Of course, colors are not seasonal or prints. You can wear them all year round. I got it. So her shoes are a little flat here, but if you wanted to, you could even go with like a high heel, right? With this oh, dress, yeah, to totally. Dress it, up a little. dress it up with some jewels or mm -hmm. a high heel. Love that. And the hat, of course, more hats. Love Because you love your hats. So let's talk more about your place. So someone wants to go out there, maybe get some spring items. Uh, what can they experience when they go to Hella Tula? I mean, when they walk in, I'm hoping it is the ultimate happy place. You know, it's full of bright colors. It's pink, purple. You know, I got my couch. It's like inviting people into my home. Yeah, and, and you do events. I see here we have do. your Galentine's Day event. You just, you're always out there getting the word out. Yeah, I try my <laughs> best. We have the Galentine's event. We also have a Mother's Day event coming up. Nice. So it'll be on Mother's Day and we'll have hair, makeup, beauty, drinks. And so I like to have it be a welcoming wonderland of whimsy. And, uh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and for those who maybe missed the top of the segment, where can they find you? Uh, I'm right next to the Woodlawn Theater in the Deco District, 1912 Fredericksburg Road. And I'm open every day except Monday, 11 to 7. Okay. We'll go check out Christina. She will help get you styled. And for more information, just head to EstéLive.com. Ladies, you look beautiful. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. All right. Coming up on Estee Live, small movements but big change. We're showing you what Pure Bar Workouts are all about. Plus, make your internet presence for your business shine. How you can snag half off a new website with SitJab. Stay with us. And here's a look at some of the coolest events happening at the Tobin Center.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, if you have a business, you gotta have a website. Of course, you know how many times you say, hey, check out the website, but website may do a little bit more harm than good because you gotta have a good website. And Hector Garcia, who is the owner of SiteJab, is here with us to talk about that. I always think about that. Somebody would say, what do you like about a website? You can't really put your finger on it, but you know a bad one when you see one, right? Absolutely. If your website is looking like a my, old MySpace website, it looks like it's built in the late 90s, it might be time for a, 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 a redo of the site. So you've got a, a passion for what you for, for getting in the, hey. and you've been doing this, you said, ever since dial-up modems. So it's, yes, it's the days of AOL and dial-up modems. I had hair back in those days, so now, <laughs> I mean, marketing and internet has changed. It's, it's a much different landscape today. So if I have a business, I want to get a, a website. What? What's the process? What do you do all of a sudden? So we're process, off? we want to know the business owner's story. What's their story? Because one of the biggest things is about, one of the most powerful things as a business owner that you could do is share your story. And your website is that platform to share your story. Once you get the website up and going, you want to make sure your website is up to speed, it has, it's mobile friendly, and also it's conversion focused too as well. Um, after that, then we look at how we get traffic to your website. And that's the one when you pointed out about being mobile friendly, because too many times you go to a website and then you pick up your phone and look at the same website and you go, well, wait, I can't, I'm not seeing the same thing I'm getting over here and all this. And Statistics actually say that 60% of users online are on mobile devices today. And that continue, that's going to continue to rise up through the period of time. All right. People, you know, you say you need a website. What's your argument to say you need a website? Well, one of the biggest things is your website, do you know what, if your website's creating uh, business for you? Is your website selling for you? Is it, is it telling your story? Is it telling the who, what, when, where, why is in five seconds? Um, is it also up to date to today's standards? And also the rule of thumb is that every two years you should be redoing your website. Oh, that often? Mm -hmm. really? But once you do a website though, the, that's not the end of the game. No, many times that's we come kind of the start. Almost. That's just the beginning. Actually, many times we come across business owners, and they think that once the website is up, it's time people are going to be coming to the website, and they're going to be phones are going to be ringing off the hook. Um, but once the website is up, you got you have to announce and, and tell people that your website is up and going. And the ways you do that is to make sure you're on Google, you're on social media, and you're advertising and telling the world about your website. But you said just being on Google and being the first one that pops up isn't actually good enough either, yeah, right? Yeah, not only that, you, we, so we look at stats and statistics and what makes, what makes causes a person to, a visitor to convert over into a lead. And a lead is basically somebody who picks up the phone and calls that business or it emails too as well. Um, so being number one, number three on, on Google doesn't necessarily mean you can have all the traffic in the world, but if your website isn't converting leads, it means nothing. So it almost sounds like somebody, you know, I, I get this website, now I got to do all that stuff, and you're kind of, you know, it's almost overload, but you handle that. Yes, so we all handle stuff. the entire process okay. of internet marketing, online marketing, um, from social media to SEO to pay-per-click, Google, Google ads. Um, the landscape is constantly changing, and we handle that for our clients. So if I'm making widgets... That's all I have to worry about is making the widgets, you're handling that old, and making enough widgets to, to keep up with demand. Not only that, we're tracking everything. Every phone call that comes through, every lead that comes through, we know exactly where it comes from. And a special deal for uh, callers right now, for viewers. Yes. Right now, we're for SA Live business owners. If you're a business owner, give us a call. The first five who call now, we're giving you 50% off websites. Okay. And uh, that would be about $1,500 off. So mm -hmm. the number to call is 210-514-5422. Again, that's 210-514-5422. Or you can find more about it at their website, SiteJab online at SiteJab.com. Thank you. Oh. Good chatting with you. Thank All you. right. Still ahead on SA Live. You got to heads out to Animal World and Snake Farm for a wild Wednesday. And it's a look at how cute that is. You don't want to miss these adorable little baby pygmy goats and a graceful workout that will help you break a sweat this spring with Pure Bar. That's next on SA Live, so stay with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
At first glance, it might look like a dance class, but don't be fooled, Pure Bar is a full body workout that's low impact, high calorie burn in a short amount of time. Whether you want to be stronger, more flexible, burn fat, Pure, Pure Bar can help. Ali Wisewarm is here to tell us more about it. So what can somebody expect from their first class? Because you have a model demonstrating for we us do. here. Yes. But for those who don't know anything about bar, what can they expect? Okay, so like you said, it's a full body workout. It's high intensity, but it's low impact. Um, so what we always do, it's unlike anything else. So you're going to come in, meet your instructor, and get an introduction to what we're going to do, a, cu a couple of terms that we're going to say. So right now, Maya is doing a pretty basic pure bar move. Um, it doesn't look like much, but that's the, the goal, right? So small isometric movements that are going to burn out every muscle in her body. So right now, she's really working her inner thighs and outer thighs and upper body with that tube. If she ever wants to modify, she can always come down to flat feet or lose the tube and just take her hands to the hips. So even if you're just starting your fitness journey, um, have injuries, you can modify every move that we do. I love that. So would you say it's a misconception for those who maybe think, oh, these are just small little moves and they, they're not working anything. They're yes. not doing anything for me. What do you think about that? Like, yeah. do you hear that? Oh, yeah. We hear that all the time because um, one of the things we say is everything's just the size of a paperclip, just one inch range of motion. Um, so, yeah, when people see videos and things, they're very confused. They're like, that looks so easy. Um, but we have guys, athletes that come and take class and they're like, yeah, that was definitely like <laughs> super deceiving because it's wow. super challenging. So you don't need any previous fitness experience. Um, I mean, we're seeing some some of, some samples of the moves that you guys do there. So tell us about someone who goes in and maybe doesn't have any experience. How would you get them started? So if you are a beginner, I just like to tell everyone, just allow yourself to be a beginner because like I said, it's different than anything else. Um, but always be open with your instructor. Tell them it's your first class, you're new to working out. Because um, we can offer you all those modifications and we can give you that one-on-one -on -one attention that you need to keep working while you build up your strength. And let's talk about your studio. So where is it located and what's the whole experience like there? So we are located at the corner of Hebner and Vance Jackson. So okay. in the Hebner Commons Shopping Center with Ahua, if anyone knows where that is. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, so you can come <laughs> take class and then go have a cocktail over there. Um, one thing we really pride ourselves on as a studio is the community that we've built. Um, we have a great group of clients that are members there. So it's super diverse, but everyone really supports each other. We're all about celebrating the little milestones as people get stronger. So when you hit your 50th class, we're going to celebrate you with champagne Ooh. we're gonna bring like balloons we're gonna have snacks and the the clients just do that for each other so we don't even have to like make that happen they just do it got it so Pilates is a popular thing what would you say this is kind of up and coming as well then yeah for sure um, so we actually have three class offerings so bar is kind of a fusion of Pilates mm -hmm. some ballet moves and positions in yoga because we do a lot of stretching as well mm -hmm. um, we have basic bar we have a cardio class called empower and then we have reform which gives you that kind of resistance based element that Pilates gives you and people will go there and get one-on-one -on -one help right yes for sure so it's gonna be a uh, personal training in a group fitness setting so you'll have a class of any anywhere from 10 to 20 people most of the time. And your instructor is going to make sure to give you the hands-on attention that you need and anything after class. If you have questions, concerns, anything, they're there to help you out. And stretching, we're seeing Maya here doing her stretches. That's also very important, right? Even with yes. bar, even if it doesn't feel like there are big movements, right? Yes, definitely. So part of why it's so effective is we're going to do those small movements. We're going to fatigue every muscle. And then we're going to stretch it out after each sex section. And then at the end, we'll have a nice long stretch so that you can relax everything out and then leave all cooled down. And then go have your cocktail, right? Yeah, and then a cocktail, of course. <laughs> oh, any special offers that you have right now? So right now, we are going to have an open house at the end of the month. Okay. So free classes Saturday and Sunday. Um, just call us to get that scheduled or go online. Um, and then we are offering, if you want to join as a member on your first, the day you try your first class, 20% off any membership. So. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah, well, good thank, deal. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, Maya. You're doing great. And for more information, <laughs> just go to EssayLive.com and click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you, ladies. Awesome. Thank you. Coming up next on Essay Live, it's a wild Wednesday, and we had to head out to Animal World and Snake Farm to help take care of some of the pint-sized goats. Look out here. Plus, early, earlier we asked you, what's your favorite thing about spring? Bubba says, love the spring babies. Aww. Cute. Keep them coming.
thank you. Are you the greatest of all time? Yes, you are. We are here at Animal World and Snake Farm, and Jared Forthman joins me because we've got too cute for cuteness right now happening. Yes, Who we are do. these guys? This is Bailey Hi, and Bailey. Gwen. So you have Bailey. Uh -huh. I know that's Bailey because Bailey has a little weird brown spot that kind of doesn't match the rest of her coat there. Oh, I see that. So just about a month old. Just about a month old, and oh, wow. we are having to play mom here. Um, Unfortunately, their mom uh, passed while giving birth Aww. to these little guys, little girls, rather. But they have become such a hit here, and these are future residents of our petting zoo. Uh, but for now, you can see that they're hungry. So let's go ahead okay. and offer them each a bottle. Okay. And it's simple. Normally, they would be standing up just mm -hmm. like this when they okay. eat from mom. Bottle gets oh. pointed up in the air. Like this? And yep, and just <gasps> kind of hold them in place there. They scarf that bottle down oh really quick. Oh my gosh, quick. it goes quick. So how many times do they eat a day? They're eating about four times a day now. Okay. I recently went down from, from six feedings a day, and they're a little bit younger. Males and females, mm -hmm. of, these are pygmy goats, mm -hmm. will all have, uh, have horns when they're big, and those are slowly, you can feel them right there on the top yeah, of their head, just kind of starting yeah. to come in. By the time they're about six months or so, those horns are really showing, and, and they're, <laughs> they're starting to reach that bigger size. Look at their little tail wagging. Oh yeah, they get so excited, <laughs> just like little puppies. You know, it's kind of funny. Mm. We have everything, you know, from lions, hyenas, you name it here, but baby goats are like the biggest hit. Just when, when the kiddos get to go into the petting zoo and meet little baby goats just like this, I mean, it just makes their day. And honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do here as well. All right, you're about there we go. done, Almost Gwen. done, almost done. You're about done. Hold on, that is it for now. That is it. <laughs> now you can tell we obviously have to control how much they get. Of course, uh, they, they, would they would make drink themselves it fat really fast. <laughs> now, while we have them out, we mm -hmm. do kind of just make sure that their hooves aren't getting too long or anything. Um, it's rare at this age that they would have to be uh, cut and then just kind of feeling all over their body, making sure they don't have any lumps or bumps or anything weird. Yes, we will wipe that face off. Mm -hmm. We don't want a, a milk rash on that face either. So every time they get fed, they get a little bit of a wellness check? That's right. Okay. That's right. Just kind of giving them a once over. And they do, <laughs> they do go to the vet um, just a couple times during their younger stages of life. But after that, just residents of the petting zoo. How long before they're full grown? Uh, it's gonna be about six months before wow. they reach roughly 40 pounds on average for adult pygmies. So when you come into the zoo here, you can purchase feed at the front. You get to come into the petting zoo and feed all kinds of animals, including baby goats just like this, which are being born like crazy right now. This is season for baby goats. But we also have llama and pigs and other animals that you can feed and pet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to come out here and see Bailey and Gwen, all you got to do is check out the petting zoo here at Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. For more information on them, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. <laughs> Tomorrow on SA Live, we're springing into spring at Rainbow Gardens. They're teaching Jen how to build a fairy garden. Plus, 30 minutes of all local food you love with Elder Eats. David Elder takes us out to Lala's Gorditas on the south side and Buffalo Snacks Food Truck. Hey, and don't forget, voting for the Foodie Four in our Munch Madness bracket ends tonight at 11.59. Then at midnight, we head into the championship. Two trucks battling it out to see who will be the ultimate winner. Be sure to vote today and then again tomorrow for the Tasty 2. Just go to eldereats.com and click on the Munch Madness story. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, whether you're sick or it's preventive health care, you don't want to get a headache having to deal with all the, the health care and everything that goes along with it. And that's why you want to find a place where basically you can call home. And that's what Gonzaba Medical Group is all about. And Erica Gonzaba and Dagmar Lozano with Gonzaba Medical Group are here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. So you said perfect way to describe it. It, it is like a home. And in a home, you want to build a relationship. And that's, you said, the most important thing. Absolutely. Gonzaba Medical Group's been in San Antonio for now almost 60 years. And so we were nationally recognized by the National Committee of Quality Assurance as a patient-centered medical home. And that means that we're doing something right when it comes to creating that relationship with the provider and coordinating your care and making sure that the patients are feeling safe and at home. So patient-centered, so it's all about basically it's all them. about the patient. And, and that includes like one-stop shopping, basically, at all the different locations, Absolutely. right? Correct. Gonzaba Medical Group has seven locations and one of our newest locations is the Northwest Medical Center at 7219 Culebra Road and you know speaking of a home um, we have everything under that one roof um, primary care physicians uh, physical therapy physical medicine and rehab we also have our urgent care services we have three locations to serve you so urgent care is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 365 days a year Okay. And the other thing to deal with, too, is not only just, you know, having the doctor, but it's all the paperwork and all the red tape. Right. But you all help to handle that stuff, too, right? Correct. Correct. We have patient advocates at each of our locations that can assist you with filling out the paperwork, answering all those difficult questions. Uh, Medicare, Q, R, S, anything that comes <laughs> up. You, know? the entire you, alphabet can't, and then you can't remember everything. You know, it's very difficult, but... Um, we pride ourselves in serving our senior population, so absolutely, we have resources at each of our locations. Because there's nothing that really makes you feel better than when you are getting ready to walk out of the doctor's office and they say, I'll file that with insurance. Right, like, Correct. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I don't have to do all that stuff. Correct. So. But getting back right. to the whole relationship mm -hmm. issue, um, and it's not just you know a doctor prescribing a medication or something right. like that, because they can look at you and say, hey, I, six months ago, you know, you were five pounds, you put on a couple of pounds here or something right. like that, or you just don't seem yourself. So studies have shown that when you have effective communication between the provider and the patient, that that's going to positively improve their satisfaction and even their health and how well they adhere to some of those treatment plans. So if you're my doctor and I say, you know what, we're a team, and that really makes a world of difference when looking at patient care, especially with the elderly. A lot of times that physician relationship may be some of the only people that really care, right, or really mm -hmm. taking the time to invest in their in their in their health and their well-being um, so that's what we pride ourselves on doing here at Gonzaga Medical Group yeah and it's more than just the patient being able to you know be open to tell the, the doctor right. what's going on but the doctor can you know look and say you know thinking nah, you're not looking like yourself today right and we've got specialists in house as well so we're able to really communicate um, with specialists we've got our x-rays there in house as well so it's it's a matter of going next door going down the, to the door right next door to getting an x-ray seeing a specialist all under one roof okay and the other thing is if uh, right now maybe you're not happy with uh, you don't have a physician or you're not happy with your current physician or what you have going on doors come open, and right? see us come and see us we have seven locations and um, Please give us a call. We're ready to serve you como familia. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Ladies, thank you very much. For more information on Gonzaba Medical Group and the key elements for everyone from young to old, give them a call at 210-899-5731. That's 210-899-5731. Or you can head over to their website at gonzaba.com. Erica Dagmar, good Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Okay. Hey everybody, we got a brand new episode of Straight Handed Sarah for you. NBA legend Kobe Bryant is here, plus a performance from Slick Rick and cooking with Carla Hall. And we celebrate Women's History Month with a very special athlete. We'll see you right here in Times Square. <laughs>
Hey everybody, we got a brand new episode of Straight Hand and Sarah for you. NBA legend Kobe Bryant is here, plus a performance from Slick Rick and cooking with Carla Hall. And we celebrate Women's History Month with a very special athlete. We'll see you right here in Times Square. <laughs> All right, earlier we asked you, what you love about spring, Jacob? Love to take my dog <laughs> on a cool <laughs> mission bike ride on B-Cycle Bike with me. Uh, and Pee Wee, aww, rest in peace. Okay, you're gonna me cry. Look at that, oh, good pictures. <laughs> Jacob says, love bicycle, bike ride on mission trails, most ridden miles on bicycle. Yep, that's a great place to ride. Clarissa, the most of the time beautiful San Antonio weather. You're right, it is my favorite month. I love this weather, Clarissa. And the sport's getting too hot, so listening to the bird, yes, I love those birds singing. It's beautiful, yes, Sandra, priceless beauty. I'm with you, Sandra. Very nice photo. All the wildflowers, especially the poppies in Castroville. Yes, wow. I forgot about the ones in Castroville. I gotta go. Oh, beautiful. Elizabeth, oh I God. love that photo. You have to tell me where that is. Of course, the Texas blue bonnets, and they don't last very long, which makes me sad, but it's also beautiful because you gotta cherish it while it's here. You know, we were talking about that yesterday, and all of the beautiful blue bonnet pictures, and everybody's been talking about it, just, you know, north, all different directions. They're fantastic. Yes, thank you guys for sharing, mm -hmm. and happy spring. A few hours now to go. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, a special performance from the J.R. Herrera Band, where you can catch them live. And another episode of Elder Eats, delicious grilled cheese and buffalo bites. That is tomorrow at 1. Mm, mm, mm. Hope you're hungry tomorrow because we have love, all that food. You know, that, he needs to bring the food back. So I love seeing the stories, but Davi, please bring us some food too. How about that? Is he watching and listening <laughs> right now? He eats it there. He doesn't bring it <laughs> I back. Know, we want some, okay? And then you take it back to the station. Everybody's going to be eating uh -huh. it there. So That's once, true. once again, your, right favorite, here, your favorite thing about spring? Me? Um, I love the flowers. Uh, the weather is my favorite in March in San Antonio. It it's is. Just I mean, this perfect. is kind of perfect. Uh, and don't forget, uh, Spurs tonight. It is military night, right? Yeah. And so there's, what, 40% off for active 40% and, and off, yes. retired military? And they're going to have a nice little ceremony pregame. And, of course, we're going to win. So that's going to be nice, right? Okay. 10 Game number, what, win number Should, 10. Yeah, nine in a row right now. They're going for number 10 tonight. Dwayne Wade's last visit to San Antonio. Yeah. Hey, everybody, have a fantastic day. Look at our only yep. fan Go here Spurs today. Go. We so love yeah. her. Have a good day.